Okay guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and taking a look at the differences between two knife makers that are very similar to give you guys an idea of what you can expect when you get either of these knives. So without any further ado, let's jump into what makes or what the difference is between an LT right and a battle horse knives knife. Okay, let's jump into it. For what I have on show here, I have the LT Wright Legome Bush Knife. And for Battle Horse, I have the Battle Horse Battle Lore. And while these two knives are different in a few ways, of course, you know, the handle color is a little bit different, the sheath size, the overall size of these knives is different, they are very similar in quite a few ways as well. They're both 01 tool steel, they're also both 1 8 inch thick. And overall, I think these two share enough commonalities to give me a pretty good idea of what you can expect, whether you get an LT right or a Battle Horse Knives knife. <clears throat> okay, so let's j start this off by talking about the differences. Okay, so there's really not a whole lot of differences. Granted, this uh, LT right's a little bit newer, so it may look a little bit more shiny, but they're both pretty shiny and they're both fairly new but there's really not that many differences in the overall build quality of these two knives. The only thing I can really say is that the LT Wright knife is much sharper on the spine than the uh, Battle Horse knives knife, but that's really not saying too much because both of them are very sharp and both of them can definitely scrape a fire steel very well. Um, other than that, there's really not too many differences that aren't natural or inherent by the designs of the two knives. The thicknesses, like I said, are nylon identical, as you guys can probably see, and so far the edge retention has been the same on both of them. But I don't have a huge amount of use on this one, however, from my experience with LT and Battle Horse, they really are about the same for edge retention. So there's really not much difference in those. Okay, so that's really the difference. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, what are their similarities? Well, the overall grind angles, the build construction, even the sheath quality is very much the same, which is really a good thing. And these two knife makers are identical, or nearly identical in just about everything, except for one really big part. And when I do say they're identical, I don't mean that in a bad way, because having two really high quality knife companies that are making, you know, very similar construction and quality, that's a great thing to have. So it's definitely not a bad thing that these two are similar in their build quality and their overall, you know, edge retention and attention to detail. So that's actually a good thing. The biggest difference between LT and BHK is the fact of designs. And this is, I think, the biggest difference that they've always had. And what I do really like is that when you have these two different companies, you get a lot of different designs that one company itself really couldn't do and couldn't support, you know, as large a catalog as two different companies that make very similar knives, or sorry, very similar quality in knives. And so what I do like about these two companies is the fact that whichever one you go with, you're going to have a very good quality so it's really about finding the right knife the right design and the right fit for you in your personal bushcrafting <clears throat> as far as the actual companies go as far as build quality they're really nigh on identical like i said they do both do a really great job at making knives and this is very apparent to me even uh just in selling these knives i mean i haven't sold either of these two of course because they're in my hands but i've sold uh bhks and lts in the past and they just go like hotcakes it's hard to keep these things for sale because there is such a following and such a love for these knives and you can really begin to see why because they're not the cheapest knives but they're also not the most expensive and the build quality is just stellar so i thought i'd make it this video because i do have at the moment a battle horse knives and an lt right knives knife both available for showing i have both of these uh, companies and i thought i would just break it down kind of explain uh in this video and show you guys you know what the differences are if there really are any and like i said there really isn't so anyways hopefully you've enjoyed this short video just kind of explaining 
what the differences between these two knife makers are in, in the end product. As always, God bless, and I'm out.